Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and I'm still answering questions from my inbox. Uh, this one has to do with HD video, and I've done quite a few videos in HD and about HD on YouTube and Facebook and other places. Um, Dean writes a very, very, very good question that I'm not sure I can answer, but hopefully you guys can help me out. He says, I saw your very interesting and informing video on YouTube and how to post HD videos. And I've been able to do this, but my videos have a lot of motion artifacts and blocking. And uh, he actually gave me a sample of his, one of his videos, and it's actually, uh, it's actually pretty bad. Um, so I'm going to paste this to the chat room. People watching on live, that one of that TV can see it. That's the video he's, he's referring to. Now, he said he found, he, found uh, he posted a message on Apple Discussions on their iMovie HD6 where he explains everything. And he has... Very good settings from what I can see. He has a MP4, H.264 encoding, um, data rate of 2000, MSI is 1280 by 720, 720p, uh, frame rate is 30 frames per second, audio is AAC 192 kilobits per second, and frame rates is 20, or frames is 24. So uh, he said these are the settings that he's using. He's using a Sony HDR H. HDR-HC7 camcorder uh, and uh, he says still frames captured from video shot on this camera have a resolution of 1920 by 1080 but he's not sure if the camera has the capability of shooting at a high enough resolution for YouTube HD videos um, could this be the source of the problem now what I, I, he says am, or am I using the wrong compressor settings I've actually shot video that's less in HD and upsized it, you know, kind of resized it in my encoder, and YouTube picked it up as HD anyway, so I doubt the size difference could be a problem. If there's a problem, there's got to be an encoding um, and what you're setting your settings to. But everything you're telling me looks legitimate, looks correct, and I did look at the video and I see the problems that you're referring to. There is some blocking, there is some motion artifacts. And I'm quite sure they weren't there in the original video. So I'm kind of stumped as to what could be the problem. Uh, you say you're using iMovie, uh, I believe, iMovie HD6. And um, what I could recommend is possibly try something else um, to encode it to see if you get the same results. Because I think YouTube has a replace video function. You can just, no they don't. I'm thinking about something else. You can maybe upload a private video for yourself to just see if it, still does what it's doing with using a different encoder. I use Visual Hub, which unfortunately is not available anymore, um, but the open source is still being worked on. You can look into some FFmpeg stuff, FFmpeg X. Uh, if you're on Windows, <coughs> or if you do have a Windows box, you can look at Super. I use that to do some encoding of my game videos, Team Fortress 2 videos, which were done on Windows. and. Uh, <coughs> That's about all I can think of at this point, is try a different encoder. Otherwise... Mars database has been updated. Hello, Avast. How are you doing? Otherwise, otherwise, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, hopefully, the people watching this video can help give some possible suggestions. For Mr. Dean, sorry I couldn't help you there. All right, this is one from one of that TV, all about HD on YouTube. Take care.